what's up y'all this is Kelly Clarkson and I'm taking over Saturday Night Online and I'm answering some questions that y'all sent in and thanks Romeo for having me on tonight but um, let's start with Rhonda from Toledo Ohio how have you grown as an artist since the beginning of your career I think obviously that's just probably experience like I mean I can't even look at things from American Idol because they're embarrassing to me so I have no idea how I won because some of that is bad. <laughs> but I think just, you know, years of being now, it's like 10 years. So I've been on stage a little more and um, just more experience in the studio and everything like that. So I think that probably helps. But yeah, some of that old stuff, I have no idea why y'all voted for me. <laughs> um, okay, next is from Allison um, from Missouri. How would you like to, or how would you describe your music if someone asked you what kind of music you play? This is a very difficult question because everybody always asks me that in interviews. And I mean, a pop is the best way because it's whatever's popular, I guess, at the moment. Because I've done like everything from, you know, urban sounding stuff to like pop, pop rock kind of stuff to singer songwriter to a little bit of country influence. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know, I guess you'd say pop because pop kind of encompasses everything. So hopefully that answered your question. Um, Ashley from Omaha, Nebraska. Who are your biggest musical influences? Um, some of the ones that I grew up listening to are like Annie Lennox and Reba and Aretha. Uh, some of my more current ones, I'm really influenced by Adele. I love her. Um, just her musicality is awesome. Um, she's just a very, very talented artist. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also, I guess I'm still influenced by people my age as well. Just you see, you know, people like Coldplay, like, and you get totally inspired at their concert as well. So. I have influences from back in the day when I was a kid and to now. Um, Katie from Philadelphia. Uh, what was the first album you ever bought? I can't really remember. I think it was it was either Boys to Men, the two album, Motown Philly Back Again, or Reed McIntyre, Read My Mind. I can't remember which one I bought first, but it was one of those. I might have bought them at the same time. I don't know. But anyway, those were the two first CDs that I ever played in my Discman that my parents got through Amway. <laughs> we are poor. <laughs> anyway, but those are great albums. Um, okay, so Annie from Boston. I've heard that you like to snowboard. Are you good? Good is such an opinion. You know, um, I can stand up on the board <laughs> and get down the mountain, but I'm not like doing turns or anything. I can't do that, but um, I like it. My good, my good experience is have a Bloody Mary, go snowboard, and then have hot chocolate with Baileys in it. So I usually have a really good time while snowboarding. It's more of a funny experience. They should probably film it because it would be very funny. But I'm not very good, no. But um, you don't have to be good to enjoy it. So, um, Okay, Jade from Sydney. What is your favorite place to visit outside of America? Well, it's funny because you're from Sydney. Australia is like by far one of my favorite places on the planet. I just like the people. They remind me of Texans. And obviously I like Texas a lot and I like Texas people. So, um, no, it's just a beautiful, beautiful country, so I like it. All right, Joe from Tijuana. Do you have advice for aspiring singer-songwriters? Joe, you just gotta sing everywhere you possibly can sing, um, cause you never know when you're gonna, you know, somebody's gonna hear you and, um, I don't know, mine was very, everybody was asking me that question, but mine, you know, the way I got in the business is obviously very different um, and not, you know, normal. So, um, but I just say pers just be persistent, like keep singing everywhere you can and write with anybody you can. Even if it's a bad experience, it's an experience, so, um, yeah. Um, Yvette from Mexico, can you describe your new album in three words? Oh, I hate this. Okay. Um, vulnerable, strong, which is funny because it's called Stronger, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but it is, it's very strong, the album. Um, and, I don't know, um, okay, no, I take those back, three words, in your face, it's very in your face, even the ballads, like, even, they're very intense, so, I, in your face, those are my three words, I take that back, I'm bad at stuff like that, okay, um, okay, Sam from La Palma, California, when are you composing slash recording that song with Amy Lee of Evanescence? Um, I really want to work with Amy. She just had an album come out, and mine's coming out obviously now too. So um, we're pretty busy right now, but I definitely want to sing with her. She's got an amazing voice. If you haven't seen her live, she's even better live. 
killer, killer voice. And super cool person as well. So hopefully soon on that one. Uh, Becky from Magnolia, what is the closest you have ever come to being in love? Ugh, skip. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> um, skip. Bobby from, I'm sorry, I'll get back to you, Becky. Um, Bobby from Reno, what's happening with your little side project, Already Famous? Any chance we get to hear any of those tunes in the future? In the future, yes. Right now we're focusing on the album and just, you know, getting my personal Kelly Clarkson stuff out there. But um, we're going to, you know, release something online for free for the fans or just maybe just perform a little show or something. But it's really good. It's different, um, which I like. So, but, um, okay. Tim from Vesalia. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, Burleson Education right there. Uh, where on the music chart will you or your record company consider your new CD a success? Well, those are two very different. <laughs> I consider it a success already because I love my album, so I'm not even that person. Like, if it does really well, that's awesome, but, like, obviously my label wants it to go number one, and that would be a huge success. But I think if it comes out in, like, the first week, if it's, if it's at least top five or something, that'd be really successful just because of the previous albums, where they were. So, but I don't really care. Just as long as y'all like it and you come to a show, I'm good. Okay. Kelly from Lebanon, awesome name. Uh, oh, Lebanon, New Hampshire? I didn't even know that. That was funny. Okay, I was thinking Lebanon. Uh, what has been your craziest night in your career so far? My craziest night? Um, I don't really know. Oh, Ireland. Oh, Dublin, Ireland. It was a really crazy show. Um, long story short, technically, I'm not even telling you the story. But technically, like, I was hearing everything in my in-ears because of a compressor, whatever, um, like a half step lower than, than it really was. So I sang the entire show a half step off. I was not very happy about that, but oh well. Um, it was a crazy bad show, but it was really funny. So anyway, not funny at the moment, actually. Um, okay, Bethany from Tulsa, Oklahoma. How do you typically begin writing a song? Usually I'm pissed off. <laughs> usually I write whenever I'm angry or sad. It's usually a negative thing that I just need to get out, and then I get it out in music. That's usually, and that's why my music is usually sad. It's not because I'm like a sad person. I'm actually a very happy, bubbly person, but usually my music is very therapeutic. So, out with the bad, so. Um, Christina from Orlando, Florida. What were you up? What were you up to for the few years we didn't really hear your name? Um, I don't know. I was probably touring a few years. I don't know. I release an album every two years, so maybe you just didn't like one of those. <laughs> but um, I don't think I've ever had three years off. So um, I don't know, Christina. I was probably touring. But um, Kelly from New Hampshire. There's a lot of Kellys. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend or are you dating? Would you date a fan? No, no, and probably not, because I dated a guy that was a fan of mine, and he actually used my full name on the date, which was kind of really awkward for me, so probably not. I mean, just kidding. If they're a fan of me, that's awesome. I like that they would like my stuff. Um, Jessica from Roanoke, who's the most famous person in your cell phone? I don't really have a lot of famous friends, so probably either Amy Lee or Reba or Chris Daughtry. Those are really the only famous people on my phone. I'm not really, oh, or Clay. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like hang out with famous people on the regular. So, um, Kyle from Orlando, Florida. I hope this isn't too boring. <laughs> okay, Kyle from Orlando, Florida. What initially got you interested in music? Who did you listen to as a kid? Initially, I got into music through writing, actually, because I had a really hard time communicating. Imagine that. Um, as a kid, um, I couldn't get my feelings out, and then I'd bottle it up, and then I'd blow up. And um, I still have problems with that. But anyway, so I started writing it out, like in a journal. And then it kind of turned into music when I got into music. Um, and I guess, it, yeah, the poems and writings just ended up being songs. So that's kind of, I think, how I got into it. But um, I think uh, who I listened to as a kid is, I mean, I listen to everybody from Reba to U2 to Aerosmith to Aretha to Annie to Bette Midler to Rosemary Clooney. I listen to all over the place just because or all the board just because I grew up in choir as well so we sang a lot of like 
songs from people like in choir, so anyway. Um, Monica from Columbus, Georgia, where is your favorite place you have traveled so far? Um, I like Australia a lot, but um, I don't know, I also like, I really enjoy the UK. I think it's really cool, all the castles and the architecture is really pretty there, just because obviously we're a very young country, like compared to like anywhere in Europe. Um, so it's really cool to go over Europe in general just to see all the architecture, especially the cathedrals. I love seeing the cathedrals. It's amazing that people actually built that, like back in the day without technology. That is really crazy to me. Um, okay, so Joyce from the Philippines. If you're bored, just click off. <laughs> okay. Joyce from the Philippines. You and David Cook are the most amazing idols ever. Have you ever had a, had a feeling of singing a song together? You're both great singer-songwriters with high range of vocals. Plus, you're both rocker and passionate artists. Um, I don't really know David that well. We've run into each other like, like a couple times, but uh, yeah, I sing with him. He's, he's a really great singer. I really my thing is like as long as the song is there, I'll really sing with anybody. Like as long as like I like the person and their character and the song, then I'm in. So, character would be first on that list. Um, okay, Martin from Czech Republic. Will you be singing If No One Will Listen from All I Ever Wanted? Um, I love if no, one list, if no One Will Listen, so yeah, we'll be singing that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be on this tour, but um, we haven't really put the finalized set list together, but I really do like that song. And we are actually on tour changing up one of the spots and singing a different song that like fans can choose or whatever every night. So yeah, so that will be fun. So maybe pick that for that night whenever I'm in your town. Um, Okay, Dana from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Did you always want to be famous? I have never wanted to be famous. That is not the goal for this kid. Um, I actually wanted to be a backup singer so I could sing and travel the world and not be in the spotlight. So that didn't work out. So <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm doing this now and um, I'm dealing with it. So, but it is cool. Some of the famous stuff is cool. Like you could shine a light on some really good causes. So that's pretty much A plus. I like that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say your name right, but Malise, or Malise Brett from France, I totally screwed that up and I apologize. Have you already thought about removing one of your tattoos? Absolutely not. I love my tattoos. I have 12 and I'm proud of every single one of them. They're all memories. Um, so, yeah, no, I don't really regret any of them. Um, and I'm going to do the last one. I think we're doing 25, so I think this is the last one. This is Robert from Westminster. Have you ever heard, have you ever, oh sorry, wrong question, wrong question. How do you stay in such great shape? You're gorgeous. Um, I love that we're ending on this question. I'm a big believer in rocking what you got. What I got changes all the time. It's like sometimes I work out more, sometimes I eat more, sometimes I play more. So it's always changing. But as long as I'm happy and as long as everyone's happy, I think you should rock what you got. And um, I stay in shape just mentally and emotionally and physically most of the time just doing a little biking and running every morning just because that's good for me. Not like hard. We're not like, you know, trying to win a competition or anything. I'm just like in there for a bit. But it's just really good for me just to have that in the morning. So, yeah. And then my coffee, of course. So, um, all right. I hope this wasn't too boring. And if it was, you could have turned it off by now. So, <laughs> So I'll see you next time on Saturday Night Online. Thanks, Romeo. Bye.